first time speaking publicly. Um, I'll zoom through this. Thank you. So, I am very passionate about my work. And uh, I realize it didn't show you what we are talking about is a new debugging mindset. But first, let's define the problem, okay? So, debugging is hard. How many people in this room have spent more than two hours debugging a problem uh, in the last week? Quite a few people. How many more than one day? Still quite a few. So you see debugging is really hard and that's because you have memory corruptions, co uh, concurrency issues, logic errors. We strive for excellence but we make mistakes and there's nothing we can do about making mistakes. We always will be doing so. And what are we given to solve these mistakes? Well, we are given logs. Um, get a trace of what happened that may or may not contain the clues that you're looking for to understand the problem. Good luck finding the clues. Good luck. You will be very lucky if you have the clues in the log. Otherwise, write some more logs and rerun and go on. Or you're given debuggers. Debuggers are fantastic, but they only tell you where you are in this precise point in time. And they will tell you maybe what's going to happen in the next instruction. You cannot foresee more than that. And so you're going to end up being very careful on how you execute your code, because otherwise you're going to miss the point you want, and you have to rerun again, and you're going to disrupt your mindset, your understanding of the world, because you have to set up the gig again. It's pretty much like having a map. You know where you are. You have no clue where, you're, where you want to go. And so what do you do? Well, you have to think about something else. I was thinking about this, and I thought, hmm, maybe Al Capone has something to teach me. Al Capone was arrested not because of his crimes, but because he was not paying his taxes. What did the US government do? They followed the money. And I know this is from Watergate, not from Al Capone, but I like Al Capone more. So uh, give this to me. They followed the money. They followed the money, and they finally arrested him. So I will follow the money. There's no money in my source code. There, there is. It will generate money. But there's nothing there. But maybe I, I can follow something else. Maybe I can follow the data backwards. For those of you who don't know this, there is a thing called reversible debugging or time travel debugging. Instead of trying to guess what's going to happen next, just go to the end and follow the data backwards. If you have a corrupted pointer, go to the end of whatever that is. Well, these companies here, well, Undo is my company, sorry for putting it first. Then you have RR for those of you who like open source. RR is a fantastic project. It allows you to record and, and replay software execution. And that's exactly what we do. In this way, you will be able to follow the data backwards and do not waste time anymore. Well, if you didn't know, now you know, stop wasting your time. There is really no reason to keep debugging in your normal way. Thank you very much. That's all.